Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another comfort food for the whole family. It's been a minute since we've done one of these videos. I've been focused on my air fryer recipes, Instant Pot, and of course barbecue because it is definitely gearing up to be barbecue season. But I am back and I am here to bring you a fantastic, fabulous, delicious, you gotta, gotta, gotta make this comfort food recipe. So today we are going to be making copycat KFC chicken pot pies. This is going to be so good. I literally, you guys cannot wait. This recipe is all made from scratch, but really truly it's easy breezy. It does not take very long and it is absolutely phenomenal. So if you want to see what I have in store for you tonight with our comfort food for the entire family, copycat KFC chicken pot pie, then all you have to do is keep watching. So here's everything that's in tonight's dinner. So first we are going to have to make our dough and then we'll move on to our filling. So what is in our dough is flour, light butter, some salt, water, and an egg. And then for our filling, of course, we're going to need some chicken, frozen peas, one potato, carrots, whatever milk or milk substitute of your choosing, three cans of reduced fat cream of chicken soup, and some black pepper. So let's get started on our copycat KFC chicken pot pie. So the first thing that we need to do is cook our chicken. So quickest, easiest way, unless you use your Instant Pot, is to boil your chicken. So I have some water on the stove here. I'm going to throw in my two chicken breasts, get those boiled. While they're cooking, we'll cut up our veggies, and we do have to make the dough for our pot pie. So the first thing that we need to do while our chicken comes to a boil is we need to finely dice up two carrots and we need about half of a cup of potatoes. So we're going to chop our carrots, chop our potatoes. So the first thing that we need to do is make our dough. So the fastest way is in a food processor. So here I have measured out my 250 grams of flour. So this recipe is done in grams and milliliters. So you can always convert that with a conversion calculator or you can just use the grams on your scale. So I just did that and I've got one egg yolk. So we're going to add one egg yolk. I measured out 125 grams of butter, light butter. We're also going to go ahead and add in some salt. And then we're going to add in about 50 milliliters of water. Turn this on, process it down until we have dough. And there is our dough for our pot pie. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this into the fridge while we finish cooking down our chicken. Next, we're going to throw our veggies, our carrots, and our potatoes in the boiling water and get those cooked down a bit. Then we'll assemble our filling. I just took our chicken breast out of the boiling water. Here I have my carrots and my potatoes. I'm using the same pan, just adding some fresh water to it. We're gonna go ahead and cook our potatoes and carrots over medium high heat for eight to 10 minutes or until they are softened. And in the meantime, we are gonna go ahead and dice up our chicken and put together our crust. So here I've got my chicken all cut up. And we'll move over here to the stove and I've got my potatoes and my carrots in a pan. Once these cook down, we're going to add all the rest of our ingredients except our dough to this pan. Let it cook down for just a couple of minutes to kind of meld the flavors and then we're ready to put together our pot pie. So once your veggies and potatoes have cooked down and are softened a little bit, I went ahead and drained them, returned them to the same pan. I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken again to the same pan here. And then we're going to go ahead and add in one half of a cup of frozen peas. We're going to add in three cups of our almond milk. And then we're going to add in three cans 
of our cream of chicken soup. So you're gonna add all of that into your pan here. We'll add the other two cans of soup. So there's one, two, two. whoa, making a mess here, cooking our pot pie. And last but certainly not least, three. And then of course we're going to go ahead and we're gonna add in just a little bit of your basic salt and pepper. And then we're gonna give this a stir. We're gonna let this cook down for just a couple of minutes just to kind of meld the flavors. And then we'll be ready to put our pot pie together. So here's the filling for our KFC chicken pot pie. I'm gonna let this cook down on the stove for just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna add it to my pie pan. And then we're gonna roll out our dough and we're gonna make this bad boy into a delicious chicken pot pie. So here's our completed filling. I ended up putting it into a baking dish only because it is so much filling. Now this is a smaller dish. This is like a six by nine, but it is definitely a baking dish versus a pie dish. So you can really reduce the amount of filling, which would then reduce the points, especially if you used less cream of mushrooms or cream of chicken soup. So whatever you want to do, but this ended up being in an entire baking dish. Here is my dough. I went ahead and rolled it out with my handy dandy roller that is linked down in my Amazon store. I love this for two ingredient dough or anytime you're rolling out a sheet of dough. And then essentially I'm going to take this and place it over the top of our casserole dish. I'll show you what our pot pie looks like before it goes into the oven. All right guys, so you always ask, is there ever a recipe that you make that you didn't like or didn't turn out? So here you go. So not that it didn't turn out, it's just it didn't turn out as well as I was hoping. So the dough ended up being quite sticky. I would recommend either lowering the butter or adding additional flour. I was able to get it on top of the pot pie, but this sucker is full, like this is full. So I decided to go ahead and put it on a sheet pan. The recipe does want you to cut a couple of slits in the top of the pot pie. It also suggests making individual pot pies. So I don't feel like I need to cut a slit because as you can see, I have a couple of openings in my dough. So I'm still going to put this in the oven. We are not going to call this a fail yet. Let's get it in the oven. Let's see what it tastes like. And then I'll let you know my honest opinion is it a go or is it a go ahead and skip this recipe? All right, I just pulled the chicken pot pie out of the oven. Good thing I put down a sheet pan because it dripped over. So it is not a fail. It actually looks decent after it came out of the oven. So I'm going to cut mine into eight servings. It is extremely thick and it is pretty high points without cutting it into more servings. So I'm gonna do it into eight servings. I will show you my completed meal, give you the smart points. I'll also let you know the smart points for cutting it into six servings if you decide that you do wanna have a bigger serving. So here is one eighth of the chicken pot pie. So it actually turned out really well. It tastes delicious. So if you cut your pot pie into eight servings the way that I prepared it, it is a total of seven smart points per serving. If you cut it into six servings, it is 10 smart points per serving. But one eighth is a lot. I think it's plenty. So this is tonight's comfort food for the family. Thank you for joining me on another edition of Comfort Food for the entire family. I hope you enjoyed seeing this copycat KFC recipe. Again, phenomenal, phenomenal dinner. Definitely a family-friendly, crowd-pleasing dinner. So good, so filling, so delicious. I will link the recipe down in the description box below per the use and any modifications that I make, I always list those next to the recipe as well. I've been getting a lot of questions about my description box. So down in the description box, which is right below where you give videos a thumbs up or thumbs down, click the little show more and it will list everything that is included in the description box. So in mine, not only do I have the recipe, but I have all of my discount codes. I actually will be doing a video about my discount codes. It's a very very highly requested video. Also, my happy mail, my email, my Facebook group, my Instagram, everything you ever need to know is always down in the description box. So make sure you check it out. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. If you hit the little bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which of course you wanna do that. Give this one a thumbs up. 
comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this comfort food recipe. And are you ready for some more comfort food videos? Let me know that as well. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.